What is up, Solo Sportsters? We are very excited today to get this incredible shipment. There's only about a handful of them in the world, and we have one. Can you guess what's inside? I'll give you a hint. It's not a Wilson Bayardo, but it is made by Wilson. It is the Wilson Tune Pro. It's a full diagnostic machine with tons of cool new features. We're gonna tell you all about it. We're gonna unbox it for you. Stick around, check out the video. What you guys see in front of you is the new Wilson Tune Pro. Now, Wilson Tune is one of two machines. You have the Tune Pro, which you have here in front of you, and then the standard Tune, which is a little bit more of a compact, portable machine, maybe for guys that are customizing on tour. And these are state-of-the-art diagnostic machines. We're gonna open it up for you. This big beast here is over 40 kilos in weight, so it's a little bit tough, but we're gonna to try to show you as much as we can, tell you all about the machine, and show you what it looks like, because again, there's only a handful of these in the world, so they're very rare, and we're fortunate enough to get two of them, so we're gonna share that with you. Right on top, you have your instruction booklet. It's very similar to how you would get a Wilson Bayardo, for any of you guys have ever bought one of those or unboxed one of those. Wilson does a great job of packing it nice and clean, nice and neat, so that there's no questions as to how to put it together. And typically it only needs a couple tools, so let's hope that's the case with this machine today. Yeah. Now inside, I'm gonna tilt this for you. You have everything compartmentalized. You'll have some nice tools and arms, some power cords. You have the Allen wrenches would look identical to what you have for the Bayardo, some bases different pieces. So they're all nicely put together in this foam, which you can see here. And according to the instructions, the first thing you wanna do is take out this big arm. Now this arm is very heavy. It's got some wires hanging out of it. The concept of this arm and what makes this machine so beautiful is that it tests string bed stiffness and racket stiffness. So now with this machine, you can check the tension of a racket after it's been strung, after it's been played, and really at any time. So I'm still unsure if you get an exact, like for example, if you string the racket at 56 pounds, that this machine will tell you, hey, that's actually strung at 56 pounds, or if it gives you a perceptual reading. For argument's sake, you strung it at 56 pounds, and the machine gives you a reading of 100. Then if you take a reading, say a week later, and it drops to 90, you'll know that you've lost about 10%. So that means you went from say 56 down to 51 or so, and that how, that's how it gives the reading. So we'll double check. Again, this is all new, never existed before. We're really excited to learn more about the machine, but you'll be able to check the string bed uh, stiffness, the racket flex stiffness. You can do it on pickleball paddles, platform tennis paddles, padel paddles, tennis rackets, squash rackets, badminton rackets, everything. I even think it does hockey sticks and other types of flexes, so we're really excited to take this apart and show you more. What a big machine. Did not realize it was this big. I'm lucky enough to be a part of the Wilson US Open national stringing team. I've done it for almost a decade now. Uh, they showed us this machine at the US Open two years ago. They let us play around with it. They told us all about it. I mean, it's really, really intense. It's really cool. Uh, probably have to get it a nice custom table or something. It's gonna take up a lot of room in your shop, at your house, wherever you put one of these. Again, this is the bigger of the two machines as the Tune Pro. And it seems to have a tray very similar to the Bayardo tray. A cover, just like we have on our Bayardo machines. And then lots of pieces and lots of fixtures to put on it. We're gonna see if we can put some of those together for you. You've got your touch screen here in the front. These are your little parts to help with the inflection of different rackets, different string beds, different paddles. So let's see if we can put this together for you more so you get a better idea of what it looks like. 
So after taking out the arm to the machine, as well as the full base here, it wants you to put in some mounts and some legs on the bottom. They seem to be screw in legs. Again, you get a really good feel. This is very similar to a Bayardo. It has similar pieces, similar construction, the same packing. So hopefully because we've had so many Bayardos, it'll be easy just like the Bayardo is. Now what I like about what Wilson does, and again this is similar to the Bayardo, is that the bolts and screws that you need are already affixed to the part, so you don't have to go looking for them like an Ikea set or something like that, they're conveniently there. And it really is, although they provide about seven Allen wrenches, you only need about two or three. So, so far we've only needed the one wrench and we'll see how many sizes we get to. We're up to a little plate here that's going to seal off our side of the machine and keep all of the parts that we just installed in place. And now they won't come off the rails or off the tracks anymore. I will also note that they provide a couple extra bolts and screws in case you lose any. So this part needs two bolts and they are taped to the part itself. So you don't have to go fishing for them. They're right there for you. The next part of the equation is to put on this vertical bending plate. Now this is again one of the best parts about the machine. When you're hitting a normal tennis racket, you'll have it here. If I'm hitting that way and I'm swinging through, the racket will flex back and there are machines that already measure that. This machine will do horizontal as well as vertical bending. So again, the racket will now be able to flex this way. So instead of that more classic back to forward swing, a lot of us are dipping low and coming up above on it. So it's going to measure that flex. It's going to tell you if you had a racket for too long and it's starting to break apart and starting to crack, you're going to lose a little bit of that flex, a little bit of that feel. So it's going to tell you all of those details. And it's also going to tell you that if you have shoulder, elbow, wrist injuries, and you want a soft racket, you're not just testing the flex of the racket in one way, you're testing the flex of the racket in different ways. Because as I said before, again, you're not just swinging back to front, it's more of a modern swing. So you're pushing on different parts of the racket and you can get a full all encompassing view of how much the racket is flexing on those shots. So we're gonna install this on the front, really cool feature on the machine, and we're gonna get back to it. Now what you guys aren't seeing at home is that some of the pieces have little protrusions and pegs. So you can line the pegs up and this way pieces fit in you know, purposefully and they hold in place and then we have bolts to put them in. So you can know that you're orienting it the right way and putting everything just perfect the way that they want you to. It's nice this way you know that you're not doing anything wrong because it is an expensive piece of equipment which we can't tell you how much we've paid for it, but I believe that they're gonna be offering this to the public if you can even get your hands on it, somewhere in that 10 to $15,000 range for the Tune Pro. And I think the standard Tune is gonna be about half that price, but it has less features, so more coming. Just wanna show you guys the quality and the heft of these parts. You can see I would say this weighs a good 30 pounds maybe. Very, very heavy, very, very solid piece. Very nice craftsmanship all around on the machine. On this arm, we have three wires. We have an orange wire color coded, a yellow and a blue. And just underneath the machine here, you're gonna see the same matching ports to fit the plugs. So we're gonna squeeze it through, line up the plugs and plug it in.
Now, as we're building this machine, one of the great parts of the machine is that it's self-calibrating. So, obviously, if you're doing customization or any type of weight adjustment, it's going to be for somebody who's really particular about their equipment and somebody who wants something very, very specific. And accordingly, what you can do is you can set this to a standard that you like, and no matter where you travel with it, no matter where you use it, it's going to maintain that standard. It's going to keep that same rhythm and work out just perfectly. Now what's really unique about this machine is that it has what's called tuning mode and tuning mode is what they're calling the ability for the machine to give you live results. So if you have a racket, a paddle, or anything that has a swing weight of 330 grams and you're trying to adjust it, you can see that live with the racket, the paddle, etc., on the machine. You don't have to take it off. You don't have to adjust it in any way more than that. And you can see those live answers. So if it's too heavy, if it's too light, you can move the weight around and feel it out and get your perfect answer. Now, up until this point, I've used about four or five of the Allen keys from here. And I'm noticing that this one requires an actual screwdriver. So we have that. Uh, I don't believe it is included with the kit. Uh, I might be wrong, but I can always double check and leave that in the notes if I'm wrong. But pretty simple. A lot of this seems to be difficult or taking time because it's our first time doing it and also because it's typically small channels so you have to reach a hard to find place kind of gear or guide a screw between like a thin channel work it through stabilize the bolt stabilize the tool stabilize etc but uh, not too bad so far we'll also tell you the complete time that it took to put this together for you at the end of the video I do want to note as we're wrapping up on the machine here that the instructions are very limited. We're going to put a photo of them on the screen for you guys, but it's really this entire machine is built with maybe eight images and uh, the images just show bolts going into a machine, but it doesn't show if it's coming in from the east or from the north or whatever the case is. So you might have to play around with it, making sure you're getting that correct direction. All right, so as you can see, we finally have it fully assembled. Uh, took a little bit longer than anticipated. I think we were right around that one hour mark. Definitely takes at least two people just to lift the heavy machine or to support it as you can screw in some things and adjust some things. Um, I think if we were to do it again, we have two of these machines. We're gonna build another one tomorrow. We could probably get it well under that half hour range, maybe in 15 or 20 minutes. And again, still needs two people. So hope you liked the video. Really excited to start measuring some rackets and seeing what this machine can offer. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us as we have new videos coming every week about rackets, equipment, and more. If you have any questions, comment below. And We're dying to take this thing for a test run. We're going to show you a full video in the next couple weeks on how it measures, how it works, and more. So hope you like this unboxing. <laughs>